The Kardashians and Kanye are a combo that guarantees non-stop drama. They have a love-hate relationship, and recently, it's mostly hate. Something is always up between the two parties, and this time, we have another blockbuster name involved, the pop icon Britney Spears. The entire Hollywood knows the Kardashians aren't big fans of Britney, and maybe Kanye can tell us why. Kanye may have just spilled the beans on the reason behind this hatred. Remember when Kanye said the Kardashians were evil and that he would fight them? He has begun. Kanye has a reputation for saying the most controversial things. Some remarks break the internet, others break his bank. Kanye had jaw-dropping revelations about Britney's conservatorship, and he is trying to expose Kim and the rest of the clan for what they did to Spears. Kanye has always been very vocal about how the Kardashians have wronged him and many other celebrities. Several fans have already accused the Kardashians of mistreating Britney Spears, and Kanye's revelations added wind to the sales. From allegedly using Britney's fame to still working with Lou Taylor, a lot clarifies the drama between Britney Spears and the Kardashians. One fan recently pointed out how Kim K used Britney's moment and made it all about herself. After watching the documentary Britney vs Spears, Kim posted that she could relate to everything mentioned. We wondered how. The documentary was about Britney's abuse with fame and her family, two things the Kardashians love. Anyway, Kim said that she felt sad for the pop icon and posted a couple of tabloids. The conversation was thus no more about Britney and all about her. Fans have accused Kim of trying to steal Britney's thunder. Kardashians always pick something and try and make it about them. The whole using Britney's fame to put the spotlight on themselves isn't new to Kim Kardashian. Jonathan Sheban once said that long before Kim became famous, the two had faked hanging out with Britney to manipulate the paparazzi and get a headline. When Britney was staying in a New York hotel, Shebon and Kim visited the place in a Rolls Royce, pretended to go to meet someone, and hid for a few minutes inside a phone booth, giving the media the wrong impression that they were there to meet Spears, who was rather locked up in her room. The trick worked, as the tabloids the next day read, Kim went to see Britney. There are many more instances of the Spears Kardashian jewel. In 2018, Britney announced the launch of a new gender-neutral perfume, Proprogative. It was described as a fragrance for all. You can guess what followed. Just two weeks after this, Kim came out with the same concept, a unisex fragrance, attracting a lot of backlash with fans accusing Kim of stealing Britney's idea. But these are all minor controversies in comparison to what we have next. $600 million Yes, that's how much some fans speculate Kim and the other Kardashians have stolen from Britney. And an inside source says Kanye West knows everything about it. There are rumors that he has revealed the details to someone else. There is a Justice for Britney hashtag started by a Spears fan account that accuses the Kardashians of the same. The thread started a discussion of how the Kardashians could be involved. A recent article said that Kim was suddenly $600 million richer than she used to be after shapewear brand. Isn't this freakishly coincidental that the figure stolen from Britney is the same as what went into Kim's account? Kardashian's involvement with Lou Taylor is a major reason for all these speculations. The same Lou Taylor, who was Britney's former manager, whom she accused of embezzling money. From Kim's divorce papers with Kanye, it's evident that Lou is in charge of Kim K's trust and her estates. Not just this, Lou has a long-standing relationship with many Kardashian family members, managing many of their financial deals. She has even done deals on behalf of Travis Scott's Cactus Jack Enterprises. Can you imagine how serious this is? Britney accused Lou of embezzling her funds, helping her dad falsely put her under conservatorship, and mistreating and mismanaging her for several years. How convenient is it that one of the most dangerous, manipulative people in Britney's life handles all the business of the Kardashians? Reading between the lines, could she have used Kim's estate to hide Britney's $600 million? To add more twists to this tale, Kylie sold half of her company for $600 million around the same time. Why are all the figures suddenly $600 million? The conspiracy theory suggests that the money could have gone from Britney's trust to Stonebridge, to Panama, back to the US through Kim's trust, and over to Kylie Jenner. Where does Kanye come into all of this? Kanye was aware of the relationship between Lou Taylor and the Kardashians and tried to put an end to it. He even accuses them of trying to put him under conservatorship. Was Lou Taylor teaming up with the Kardashians and plotting the same tactics against Kanye, repeating what she and Britney's dad did to Britney? 
How devious is that? Is Lou Taylor really that dangerous? Was Kanye really on the verge of conservatorship? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Also, stay tuned for more celebrity gossip.